What's up everyone? Today I'm going to show you how to connect your Roland Integra 7 to your iPad using the Roland Integra 7 iPad editor. So first thing you got to do is get your Roland Integra, then get your iPad and I'll show you how to control your Roland Integra 7 straight from your iPad. Let's go. Okay, so this is the Roland Integra 7. So the first thing that you wanna do is you want to go to menu, hit the menu button. When the menu button pops up, you'll get this screen and you want to, you wanna move your dial over to wireless. Then you press enter. And you press enter. And as you see, I've already done this already. So you'll move your dial over here to options you press enter again. When you get to the screen, what you wanna check, you wanna make sure that ad hoc mode is on. As you see, it's on. So once you exit out of there, your status should say ad hoc mode. Your ad hoc SSID should say Integra 7, and then your ad hoc key should have a number. I have mine blinked out, but each Integra 7 has its own number, and you wanna make sure all of that's in there. Once you make sure all of that's in there, we're going to exit out of the Integra. Now that we come out the Integra 7 menu, something else that you'll have to remember is this little USB memory stick. This has to be in and what this stick does, it connects to the iPad wirelessly and you will need this to get your connection. If you bought the Integra brand new, it'll come with one. If you didn't buy a brand new, chances are it may not come with this. So you'll have to contact Roland and get this stick so you're able to use this with the iPad. Now onto the iPad editor. Okay, so now that you set up the Integra 7, you have to set up your iPad. So the first thing you want to do, you want to go to the app store and you want to download the Roland Integra 7 app. Once you have that app downloaded, you want to open it up and we just press the tab like that. And the first thing you want to do, you want to go into your gears tab at the top. I'll go ahead and press it. And then that'll bring up this screen. When this screen comes up, you're only looking for two things. So in here, your mode select, should be normal and your MIDI devices should say Integra 7. And another thing in your iPad, you want to go to your settings, look for your Wi Fi, and under your Wi Fi, you want to select Integra 7. Then you come up out of there and then you open your Roland 7 editor. And you can go to any sound set you can go to any one of these sound sets that you want and whatever you choose on here will also be chosen on the integra 7 so now you control your integra 7 by your ipad and you don't have to go to the integra and turn a dial or load expansions through the integra 7 which can be time consuming you can do it all from your ipad now if you've done everything i told you to do and you load this program and it doesn't work and you get this message connection error, then there's another step that you gotta do. On some integers, you have to do this extra step. On some of them, you don't. So if you get this connection error, what you wanna do is, we come back over. So what you wanna do is you wanna come back to the Integra, you press menu, pop the menu up, and then you'll go over to systems. I'm already there. And systems is right there. You'll press enter. And then you'll scroll over to the MIDI tab. So let's scroll over to the MIDI tab. So you scroll over to the MIDI tab and then you wanna go down to where it says MIDI through. And right now my MIDI through is set to on and we want to turn it off. So I turned it off and once I turn it off, I can exit out of here. Now we'll try this again. And let's just say I'm going to bring this up. 
or strings. Okay, so now when I bring strings up, now you see everything. If I press violin on here, you see it's violin on there. And if I go over here to the Integra 7, boom, it's the violin. So that's how you control the Integra 7 with the iPad. And that's how you set it up. And it's really that easy. If you like this video, leave a like. If not, tell me that you didn't like it. It's all good. Until next time.